Good evening. It could be a once in a generation storm. According to the National Weather Service, a much anticipated powerful storm packing 70 to 75 mile an hour winds set to hit the North Country in about an hour. Winds are expected to reach those levels across the Black River Valley, and that would be the north and northeast of the Tug Hill. Power outages are expected, as we have been talking about, and the worst of the wind expected to happen between right about now and one o'clock tomorrow morning. So going into early morning tomorrow and the winds we're worried about, but it is a winter storm. We do have some rain to talk about snow as well. And I'm over here with John Kubis in the Weather Center to take some time here to talk about how things are shaping up. National Weather Service saying it could be a generational once in a generation wind event. Why are they saying that? It's the strength of the low, Jeff, and also it's bringing up a, what's called a low level jet right now. And the winds are very strong, about 5,000 feet off the surface, right? About maybe 80, 85 mile per hour winds up there. And as those winds mix on down, as the low gets a little bit closer, that's going to mean we're going to be dealing with the windy conditions. Yeah, and the topography helps coming yes. off the Tug Hill, of course, the into the Black River Valley. Yes. And these are coming out of a different direction, okay? It's not the normal southwest, it's southeast, right? So it's right. a different kind of area for the winds to come out of. Uh, what do you think for gusts? I mean, are these current right now? These are current right now. And what we're seeing, uh, I've been watching these over the past couple of hours. They have been picking up. Now, take Lowellville with a grain of salt. That's someone's sensor out in their backyard, so 18 miles per hour. That might be a suspect, so to speak. Mid 40s in Barnes Corners, already 35 mile per hour wind gusts at Fort Drum, 33 out at the airport in Dexter. And these winds will only pick up in intensity over the next couple of hours. And because of that, high wind warning in effect area wide all night long. A little different end times tomorrow for Jefferson County, Lewis County, and also St. Lawrence County. Not to be left out, wind advisory the further north you go. Uh, winds still strong, but not nearly as strong up along the river. And notice the blue, maybe three to six inches of heavy wet snow accumulation until just after midnight tonight. Think Lewis County, Tug Hill Plateau and the Adirondacks. A couple things I am watching. Strongest of the winds like you alluded to, Jeff, 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. That's when winds could potentially hit 65, 70, maybe 75 miles per hour. I'm thinking snow to rain and then tomorrow rain to snow. So we'll talk more about that later on in, this, in the show. Another storm Friday night and Saturday and potentially significant lake effect snow for the upcoming weekend. All right, MAP satellite and Doppler radar brought to you by first uh, by uh, Doors Plus and Adam Center. And well, there you see a whole lot of colors on the tel on your television mm -hmm. screen. That's rain, that's snow. No, we can't show the wind on this, but rest assured, those winds will be howling over the next couple of hours. And very quickly, there is a chance, okay, that the winds may not reach the 70, 75 miles an hour. There's there's a reason for that. Small if, chance. If we get a very small chance, if we get too much rain, yes. that could cut down on the winds, what right? What that's going to do is it's going to drop the, the inversion. We talk about inversions all mm -hmm. the time. The temperature actually increases with height. If that drops the inversion down, the winds won't mix all the way. So no. fingers crossed that happens and these winds aren't as strong as we're thinking. What is predicted? National yes. Weather Service saying this is a once in a generation sort of event. And uh, John Kubis and I were talking that, you know, it's not fear mongering. It's not, uh, it, it's exactly what the National Weather Service right. is putting out. And John said, you know, I hope I'm wrong on this one. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it's like we, we're not looking forward to the type of winds that could be coming.